Linux boot issues can disrupt productivity and cause anxiety. This guide aims to demystify these problems, equipping users with troubleshooting skills. Understanding the boot process and common failure points is crucial. We'll explore techniques to diagnose and resolve issues, ensuring users can confidently tackle boot problems and maintain system stability. The Linux boot process begins with BIOS UEFI initialization, performing post and hardware detection. It then transitions to the bootloader stage, involving MBR EFI and GRUB loading. Each stage is crucial for reaching a usable system state. Common issues include GRUB errors and kernel panics, which can prevent the system from booting successfully. BIOS UEFI initialization starts with post and hardware detection. It identifies boot devices and hands control to the bootloader. In the bootloader stage, MBR or EFI loads GRUB which presents a menu for OS selection. Common issues include GRUB rescue prompts and bootable device detection failures, often requiring manual intervention or bootloader reinstallation. Kernel initialization is crucial for booting. It involves loading the kernel and initramps. Issues like kernel panics can arise from corrupt images or missing modules. Ensuring the root file system is mounted correctly is vital. Troubleshoot by checking for corrupt kernel images, missing modules, and verifying the root file system's integrity to prevent boot failures. Init system startup is managed by systemd or sysvinit, crucial for service management. Failures here can lead to emergency or rescue modes. Diagnosing issues involves checking system logs, such as systemd journal or sysv init logs, to identify service failures or misconfigurations. Understanding these logs is essential for resolving boot issues effectively. Grub issues often appear as rescue prompts or configuration errors, like Grub Rescue or Grub Prompts. Troubleshooting involves identifying the correct boot partition and manually booting the system. This requires using commands to list devices, set the correct prefix and root, and load the normal module to restore the Grub menu. In Grub Rescue mode, use ls to list devices and identify the boot partition. Set the correct prefix and root using set prefix and set root. Load the normal module with insmod normal to restore the grub menu. If needed, manually boot by loading the kernel and initrd with Linux and initrd commands. To permanently fix grub, boot from a Linux Live CD USB. Identify and mount your root and boot partitions. Use crute to access your system environment. Reinstall grub using grub install and update the configuration with update grub. This ensures Grub is correctly configured for future boots, preventing recurring boot issues. Kernel panics are critical errors causing system halts, often due to corrupt kernel images, missing modules, or hardware failures. Symptoms include error messages and unresponsiveness. Diagnosing involves analyzing error messages and booting older kernels. Using a live environment for deeper analysis, regenerating initial RAM file system, and checking hardware can resolve issues. Troubleshooting kernel panics involves analyzing error messages and booting older kernels. Check kernel parameters and use a live environment for deeper analysis. Regenerating initramps and checking hardware can resolve issues. Transitioning to file system errors, improper shutdowns, failing hardware, and software bugs can lead to emergency mode, causing boot halts and read-only file systems. File system errors can halt booting often leading to emergency mode with read-only file systems. Causes include improper shutdowns, failing hardware, and software bugs. Identifying the affected partition and using file system check can resolve these issues. Checking etc. FS tab for incorrect entries is also crucial to prevent future boot problems. To resolve file system errors, use FSCK to check and repair partitions. First, identify the affected partition using LSBLK or FDISC. Run FSCK on the unmounted partition, answering prompts to fix errors. Also, verify etc. fstab for incorrect entries, as these can cause boot issues. Correct any errors to ensure proper mounting during boot. Service failures can halt booting, often due to misconfigurations, dependency issues, or resource shortages. Symptoms include boot hangs and specific failure messages. Identifying the failing service and checking its configuration is crucial. Use system D tools to analyze logs and dependencies. Masking problematic services can temporarily bypass issues, allowing further investigation. Troubleshooting service failures requires using system D tools. 
Start by analyzing boot logs with Journal CTL to identify issues. Check service configurations for errors or misconfigurations. If a service is problematic, consider masking it temporarily to allow the system to boot. This approach helps isolate the issue, enabling further investigation and resolution. Regular backups and careful updates are essential preventative measures. Monitor disk health and use journaling file systems to avoid issues. Proper bootloader management is crucial, especially in dual boot setups. These practices help maintain system stability and prevent boot problems, ensuring a smoother Linux experience. Understanding the boot process and common errors is crucial for resolving Linux boot issues. Systematic troubleshooting and regular backups are essential. This guide equips users with the confidence to tackle boot problems effectively, ensuring a smoother recovery process.